Hi everybody, I'm Mark McLean and the shave of the day is coming right up. Uh, first off, I want to preface the entire video by saying I recorded this video for Monday morning. However, I recorded it Sunday evening. Um, I do say that this is Monday in the video, so you'll notice that. Getting a little late start on, on the editing process as we uh, were involved in a traffic accident. You probably uh, saw or heard something about that, my wife and I. Uh, I'm going to first tell you about the accident and then we will transition into the shave of the day. So you stick around, it's coming up right here next. Thanks everybody, this is the video I pieced together. It's sort of uh, self-explanatory, but I will give you more information in a bit. Okay, this is going to be for those of you that would like to see that in a little slower motion. Here we go. Okay, this as it says on the screen is where the impact hit us and that's where we landed. Right there is the impact with the scattered debris. Stretches a little on down the street as you can tell by the cars. Look at the different cars and you can get the estimated footage. I would say approximately 35 feet or so. The vehicle spun a complete 360 and then nearly a 180 as well. Landing here as you can see, breaking the back axle and wheel. But we're alive, right? Hi everybody, welcome in. Time for the shave of the day, and I'm using my Mercure Futur. Oh, hey, I feel so French. I don't know why. It's German. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I am using my Mercure or Mercure Futur. I'm using the Mercure today, and Voskhod, Russian blade. I'm using the Russian blade. Oh, Voskhod. I can't speak Russian either. Sounds like German, right? So I'm I'm doing the French for the German razor and doing the German for the Russian blade. Makes a lot of sense to me. Anyway, double wrapped. I like to double wrap it. Sometimes it's safe. <laughs> or more safe, shall we say. Okay, this is my first time to ever use this blade. I'm looking forward to that. It was uh, uh, sent to me by Curtis George. Thank you, Curtis. Getting around to using this one for the first time. Looking forward to that, like I said. My shave soap today is from the Captain, Captain Hunter's Sense of the Seven Seas Mutiny, Mutiny Bay Rum. And this is a sample of the soap. And it smells great. And I want to say a special thanks to Monica Gillum. I commissioned um, an artisan like Monica, she is so awesome. A person, not just a person, but a great business person too, obviously, but number one, she is a great friend. And I thank her for the great job she did on the soaps with my Mutiny Bay Rum aftershave and my Blimey Bay with Lime, which is uh, really, uh, I guess you might say, uh, something I hold close to my heart because I did it in the first place uh, just to help out a few friends and uh, get them going with some different types of bay rum. I wanted the best bay rum we could buy for the money. And, uh, well, I found out quickly that you can't buy good bay rum for the money. Not for low money. You have to spend a lot of money for it. 
but that's okay. I, I went in the hole and spent money out of my own pocket for the first few batches and yeah, I'm afraid it's just not getting much better, but as far as financially goes, but um, I am having fun. And uh, I did get all kinds of uh, spices from all over the Caribbean, uh, just to make sure that I had the best smelling, yes, quote me on that, I don't care, the best smelling Bay Rum. And that's what we ended up with, and I really love it. Right now we uh, we have some Bay uh, Rum, Mutiny Bay Rum Splash, that uh, is awesome, but also the Blimey Bay and Lime Splash. That's what I'll be using today from Captain Hunter's Sense of the Seven Seas. On the back it tells you um, non-flammable, 70%. Uh, liquid and uh, water and shake before using. Also, it has made with aloe vera, witch hazel, argan oil, red castor extracts, liquid silk, essential oils, and fragrance. And Monica did a great job mixing in my uh, Blimey and my my um, Mutiny Bay Rum into making some awesome products. Now, right now, this is what the blade looks like. It's the first time I've actually held one outside of the package. I'm going to be using that today and uh, we'll go ahead and take time to insert it into the Mercur, the Mercur or the Merker, as some people call it, the Merker Future. <laughs> the Merker Future or actually Mer 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 Mercur Future is the proper pronunciation. Mercur Future. Okay, I usually do a, a setting as low as possible when I use a, a feather blade, which is a number one. But uh, if it's a least aggressive or a least aggressive type blade, then I crank it up a bit. According to what I've seen from other people, it's a fairly aggressive blade. So we will start off with a, a one and a half today, just to be safe. Not going to get crazy. I do have a, a light glow to my face today. It's because of stash. I got the stash, man. <laughs> this is beard oil. You can buy this at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's made with, uh, let's see, glycine soha or soybean oil. Uh, it also has uh, ethanol penolate, phenolexanol, uh, lanolol, Capriol, glycol, sorbic acid, polysorbate, fragrance, parfum. Uh, it goes on butylated hydroxylene, carthamus, whatever that stuff is. Sa safflower, that's what it is, safflower seed oil. Carthamus uh, tin tinturus. Also, uh, Vitus vinifera, which is grape seed oil. So, it's a fairly inexpensive little uh, beard oil, but it makes a great pre-shave. And that's what I have discovered this past couple of months that I can use pre-shave oil, just turn it into pre-shave oil from beard oil. I bought um, some beard oil downtown here where I live in Paducah, Kentucky. And uh, there's a lady who has a soap place downtown and uh, it's called The Farmer's Daughter. So I went there and uh, checked out her products. She had the beard oil. And I asked her, I said, can you use that with, you know, as a pre-shave oil? She said, what's a pre-shave oil? So I explained and she said, you know, I think I'll change my labels. So uh, yes, it can be used for that. My brush today is the old Ever Ready C40. And this one is with the original uh, boar hair knot, the original. I got it from a, a buddy of mine who bought this brand new back in the 60s. Now that's up there. It wasn't hardly touched. It looks a lot better than this when it's not wet, but uh, it's like brand new. A very light brush because I have one that's similar with a uh, sunflower, not a sunflower, but a uh, sunrise knot. It's an Anthony or a Mac sunrise synthetic knot in my other one. I had him to uh, to re resurface it, redo it. It's a lot shiny, uh, uh, more shiny, and also you can't see the division line right there where they pieced it together. And he also weighted it down. He put pennies in the bottom 
and epoxy so it's a a little bit heavier than this and i think i'm liking the heavier aspect in comparison to this i may have to have that part worked on but i'm definitely going to save the bore uh, knot that's in it the bore hair is awesome i had that soaking and i uh i went ahead and just wrung some of it out just now right now i'm going to just uh chunk out a piece of the soap I don't want to use it all. There's no sense in using it all. I can get several shades out of that. So I'm going to put that inside my bowl. And uh, the good thing about this soap is it's a soft, pliable soap, and you can formulate it right into the base of your bowl. Just press it down and it will stick. And I like it. Mmm, smells nice. It really does. Okay. This is the first shave I've had with a double edge in a while. I've been using my new straight razors like an old hippie at a Woodstock concert, whatever that means, right? Okay, just going to uh, start mixing it up, loading the brush, just the tips, just trying to get the tips loaded up first, and then I will uh, work the lather on it into a frenzy. <laughs> Nothing like getting worked into a frenzy, I always say. <laughs> but man, this sto this stuff, this soap, this soap and this stuff is really coming to a beautiful lather, marshmallowy looking texture. And the scent is now blooming. You really can't tell much from smelling it right out of the container. I mean, you can a little bit, but you know, not like it is now. This is really blossoming up the and blooming into the entire bathroom, I think. But, man, the texture, that's how I like it right there. I like a good, thick texture that's going to coat and cover up my face enough that you can't see the color uh, through, you know, through it. And that's the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Getting crazy. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hard to believe I'm acting like this on a Monday, huh? Slopping suds? Mm -hmm. But man, look at this. This texture, it is awesome. Look at that. I love that. That's the kind of texture I like. Right there, that's it. See this? The, the light's blotting it out. But that's the kind of texture I like. Thick enough to cover up your skin color. But this is good smelling too. And look at me, baby, look at me. <laughs> I'm watching you, bro. I'm watching you, bro. <laughs> Inside joke there. No, no. So some guy asked me, why do you play that uh, little joke thing there with that guy saying that? First he said, did I hear somebody in the background talking, saying, I'm watching you, bro? I said, yeah. That's a little ditty I uh, I recorded, and uh, I just play it from time to time when I think it's needed, such as uh, maybe a time when perhaps my wife would be watching me. And he said, oh, I get it. <laughs> he said he would keep his eyes open for future times that I play it, and he called me on it. That's awesome. Got a lot of nice people in the YouTube community and the wet shaving groups and the knife community as well. I'm happy to say that I'm a proud member of both the knife community and the wet shaving community. And I was thinking earlier today, I think I'm going to start showing at the beginning or the onset of each one of my videos today's EDC. And if you don't know what EDC means, that stands for Everyday Carry. This is what I'm carrying today, my Maritac CR123. You go, you twist it like this once, twice, and then there you go. See, three times, once, twice, and then three times the bright one. Pretty cool flashlight. Copper, yes, and it shows up with all the beautiful patina that gets on it and everything. Maritac, they make that. The knife today is the igniter by CRKT 
This is an awesome EDC. It really is. Perfect knife for EDC. It has the um, micro burst. That's the blade assist. And it also has the patented stay safe, I believe is what it's called. That You push this button in, you have to depress it so hard and so far. If you'll watch, you can see it moving on the opposite side over here. See that moving that little lock out of the way? If you don't move the lock out of the way, it won't open. It's called the um, speed safe technology. What it does is basically keep it from opening up inside your pocket. There you go. And it's a good knife. It has 8CR14 MOV steel. I believe that's the kind of steel with the G10. It's got a nice choil right there and the pommel is sweet as well. It folds up perfectly in the hand right there for cutting or for just sitting around and flipping it open and back and <laughs> having fun. That's my EDC for today. I've gone ahead to allow my, my uh, shaving cream to soak into my whiskers a little bit. And here we go. Let's try this baby out. In answer to your question, for those of you that's been asking, hoping I feel better, I'm still taking the steroids, feel better. I'm thinking I can go a little more aggressive. I'm going to go up to three. Anyway, I am feeling better. And that's nice. Oh, yeah, I got it on a three. That's about the setting I, I think I like. It feels common and comfortable for me. This was the first expensive double-edged razor that I got when I first started. And I began wet shaving back in the end of June of this last year so it hasn't been quite a year yet I began straight razor shaving in August okay right now I'm going to do the goatee area I'm really digging this blade I don't know what other guys think about it but I have seen my buddy Rich use it. I'd like to know what he had his setting on his, his adjustable setting. But three seems to be working good for me. I will go back and check these areas making sure I don't cut into the beard. Right now I'm going underneath the beard where it grows extra thick. Reverse that now opposite side. I like being able to swish it in the water, which is not a good idea if you're using a straight razor. <clears throat> I think I commented this last uh, last video about what happens when you <laughs> rinse your straight razor. I had to learn the hard way, but all my buddies kept telling me Bob Gonzo Randolph told me, he helped me out. My buddy Mike Baker, he helped me out. I shouldn't begin naming names because I'll forget somebody. Several other guys, they helped me out saying, you know, you don't need to, to get it wet. Well, they were right because I dropped it, my straight razor. <laughs> and when I did, yeah, it cut the heck out of me. But man, this stuff, this texture is marvelous. I want to say hi to my buddy, Jacob Thompson. Shout out to him. A new wet shaver in the community. Look for him, along with my buddy Arturo Segura. Arturo is from Houston, Texas. Jacob Thompson is from Mayfield, Kentucky. The place I grew up. Jacob bought some mutiny soap. They wrote me back this morning. 
saying he needed the blimey as well. <laughs> and that's okay. Okay, rinsing off my hands. That was excellent. I got a great pass going for number two, doing the upward stroke right now. You know, it's, it's important to stretch your skin even like this because you can get more hair or beard or whiskers or whatever by doing that. See how I'm just turning my head? That's, that's tightening up my face muscles and skin texture or tone right there. You can even pull with your lips like that and make it tighter without touching your neck, but that helps too, especially if you got a double chin. <laughs> Okay. Wow, this is an awesome blade. I'm really totally impressed with it. I truly am. <laughs> Soap up the nose. I use that nostril brand soap myself. What about y'all? Mmm. Gotta be careful there. I just drink a uh, big old cup of coffee too. Shouldn't have known better, huh? I like using a a double edge. Of course I like using a straight, but I really like using a double edge to maintain my beard and mustache and the trim up. I, uh, I especially love using the vintage comb through type, Gillette open comb through. Those are awesome. Okay, upward path. But when you're using a big sharp blade like this, Voskhod, Voskhod, you have to be careful because you don't want to do that right there. No, I don't mean that. I mean that. <laughs> no, that was that was a, something else. That was a. Uh, 90% blockage in my left carotid artery. That's what that was. And look how much lather is still available just to coat my face, just with my hand alone. That's just magnificent stuff. Mmm. <laughs> think the boy's enjoying that way too much. Well, anyway, we're gonna go for a three pass today. How's that? I'm feeling groovy. Why not? Got some great soap here. And look at that lather. Man, I need a little bit of water. It's a little thirsty. Not too bad. Got to be careful. Still got soap samples in the bottom of my bowl. Man, that's great. Look at that. Can you see how thick that is? I'm serious now. I like the way you work it. You know, diggity. You like that song? That's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. I mean, to that song. I know several words to about four or five different songs. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. First song I ever learned to play on the guitar, believe it or not. Doing the cross the grain pass. And I'm going to wipe down and check out my beard line, which looks good. Just go pass across it, just to be precise. Okay.
<clears throat> Check it out. Just making sure it's straight. And it is. And I've already done my chin, my goatee rather. Now, I do have a thick growth pattern underneath the line. So I'm just crossing over because believe it or not, it grows like that. <laughs> so I'm going right now with the grain. That's against the bottom grain. Weird growth pattern, I know. But then I coat it back right underneath the beard line and go opposite. That's with the grain. I hope I said that right. That's with the grain. The other way was against the grain. I think I said that, right? And that is that. We are fini. Three pass shave. Very socially acceptable in my opinion. <laughs> And I want to close up all the pores that I have. But I don't know how to do it. How, how, how? Oh, I have to put on some of that uh, post-shave cream, you know, to protect your skin. Nah, not when you have this. This is aftershave splash. And this stuff does a great job if you can get the top off. I have a bad left hand. I took the glove off ahead of time. It is still healing. I don't know why, but I messed it up. Okay. This has some awesome stuff. Witch hazel in it. Mmm, smells nice too. Vitamin E. Aloe vera. Rose water. Neem oil. Red castor, argan oil, liquid silk, extracts, essential oils, and fragrances. And with that being done, my face feels moist already. It's, it's got its own moisturizers in it, so I don't have to put on any post-shave cream. I'm finished. That's it. I have reached post-status. Look at me. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you being there. Get out and have some fun. Pay it forward. Peace.